Good morning, good morning, good morning. It might not be morning if you're listening to this, and I'm really sorry. Now, I didn't want to stop you, but here's the problem. <laughs> I think you started about a half second before I pressed record. Did I? So Damn what people it. will hear is this morning? just a very sudden attack, <laughs> mid-sentence, <laughs> mid-word of your singing. Is it's that like, if that's what you want? It's like actually being near me in real life. That's like pretty much how I am. It is standard. weird. Half of your words you don't actually start on the first no, syllable. No, I start <laughs> mid sentence. Mm-hmm. My thoughts Mid-word. just go, and yep. I'm just like, "What did they just say?" Mm-hmm. How are you this morning? I am great. It is morning. I it guess is. I just it is morning as we're recording this. So be prepared for. Uh, it's a Monday yeah. morning. It's nobody has thought in 72 hours. Yeah. It was a uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend, which. I didn't do anything, but you might have done I something. I did nothing. Okay, I so neither of us did anything, no. but we're still feeling the after effects of a <laughs> yeah, St. Patrick's Day when weekend. When you get older, you, like St. Patrick's Day hits you whether you drink or it's not. It's just an ambience. Yeah. It's, it's an atmosphere <laughs> that is just draining on exactly. your soul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, welcome to How to Not. My name is Rob Moden. And I'm Caitlin Alexander. And this is a podcast where we read WikiHow articles in order to learn how to live normal, regular human lives yep. that are not filled with anything weird. And mm-hmm. these articles are definitely, they're actually real. That yes. is, they're 100% real, but they're definitely filled with normal, regular things. Yeah, absolutely. For instance, what is today's article? Um, how to convince your parents to let you wear a thong. A normal thing. A normal thing. That every teenager every goes through. Every single teenager, no matter your gender, mm-hmm. no matter anything, you have to convince your parents. It's a to rite of passage. Yeah. You get some of your first new hairs. You start feeling feelings you, for people. You convince your parents to let you get a thong. It's an awkward conversation, yeah. It it's, is. It's part of the birds and the bees talk. <laughs> Sometimes they're birds, sometimes they're bees, sometimes, sometimes they want underwear <laughs> that is a little more scanty. Just want a little scanty clad little, underwear. Little bit more, is it scanty? Scantily? Scantily. 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 Well, we've discovered that together, that we both say scanty. <laughs> We're like, what? Where did that even come from? Um, so I'll, I'll give you some like information about this article. Sure. Uh, there are two stars on this article. That's uh, a good sign. <laughs> 70 votes to get there. There was 48 co-authors. And it's been viewed just under 200,000 times. So the impression I'm getting, especially with that many authors, is that a lot of people are trying to salvage this article. Absolutely. Which means it might not be necessarily a great info point for us on how to actually complete the... I've never been able to convince my parents to let me wear a thong. I've never either. I was just going to say, I've I've tried and failed many times to convince my parents to let me wear a thong, and I thought that I was just never going to be able to purchase a thong, but maybe today it will be salvaged. And it's weird, because you're a grown person, yeah. so it's been years and years of failed attempts, and yeah. we've now turned to WikiHow. Exactly. But may- maybe by the end. Maybe by the end. We'll let- be able to convince mom and pop, <laughs> let me wear that thong. <laughs> Thong, 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 thong. Oh my god, that's a great song. <laughs> the thong song. Fun story. My sister, who's twelve years older than me, uh, let me listen to the thong song in the car with her when I was like eight years old, and I knew all the words. And my parents were just horrified. Just... I feel like I feel like as I get older, I am more aware of how many songs are filled with that we just not listened even... to when we were young. And they're not even filled with swearing or anything, but they're just filled with language that is very clearly sexual. <laughs> yes, and that. Uh, went right over our heads. Like that song's like, if you get down on me, I'll get down on you. Do you remember that song? No. Oh my god, that was like that's even more explicit song. than anything I was talking about. No, it was. What song is this? Oh god, I can't remember the name of the song, but it was like, if you get down on me, I'll get down on you. Well, and we're on Spotify like, now, so yeah. you're not allowed to sing well, any songs. Well, I just did. <laughs> uh, copyright, damn it. <laughs> So here's the description. Mm -hmm. Convincing your parents to let you wear a thong may seem like an impossible task. With enough preparation and strategy, your your chance of convincing them strengthens. Convince them with a persuasive argument that will leave them confident in your abilities. In your abilities to do what? To wear a thong? To wear that thong thong thong? To argue to wear the thong 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 thong? To argue, okay. Sure. So the first step, preparing your argument. I feel like we've started where we need to start this time, so Mm -hmm. I'm happy about it. Yep. Plan your strategy. The best course of action is a combination of appealing to your parents' res- reasonable side and appealing to their emotional side. You want to hit them from both angles to make sure your argument is thorough. This shows them how important this is to you. Okay, so the reasonable side. Reasonable. Mom. Dad. I want some air down there. Yes, I need to air out the cheeks, and yep. this is the only way I can do it. My cheeks are so 
so it feels like they're they're covered in a sweater it, it just i and i need to take that sweater off yes. it's summer season for my cheeks yes the the emotional side mom and dad don't you want to see me in that thong <laughs> mom and dad do you want to see me cry anymore i cry every night because i can't wear the thong <laughs> are you monsters who don't want me to look my best and want me to cry myself to sleep every night as I look up at the poster above my bed of a of a, just a, a juicy butt in a thong. Just a juicy butt. Yeah, that's the first step that they didn't tell you. You need to plaster your room in just photos of people in thongs. That's how you raise the topic. Because I think that's a big problem. Is yeah. How do you start the conversation? And how you start it is you spend hundreds of dollars yes. on thong posters yes. to hang around your bedroom. So the- once they're like, what's this all about? You're like, well, let me tell you. Well, let me tell you. I want my butt to look like them butts mm-hmm. that are in my room. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And I know it's not nearly as fit as any of those butts uh it might have some sort of birthmark or something that oh my god but 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 exactly yep okay step two there's a lot of like steps within the steps in this one but Mm -hmm. i don't feel like they're necessary so i'm just moving on okay know why you want to wear a thong Ah. an important part of your strategy is appealing to your parents sense of reason a well-reasoned argument includes persuasive justifications for wearing a thong write down five or six logical reasons why you want to wear a thong and that gives you some examples thongs don't show panty lines the main benefit of that is that it avoids attention to your butt surely your parents can get on board with that Thongs last longer. Since there is less fabric to deal with, they reshape better than regular panties. I don't want to keep reading because it's making me say panties, and I really hate mm-hmm, that word. Mm-hmm. Is there another word that you could sub in that works? Un- butt underwear, holsters. underwear, butt holsters. Butt holsters okay. is what I call good old sure. underwear. So keep going. Um, thongs keep you cooler in hot temperatures. They are lightweight, allowing for better airflow by avoiding sweat in your butt holders you will also avoid possible skin fa- rashes or blemishes mm-hmm. that's it okay so i thought you were just stopping do you, you have any to stop. do you have any explicit reasons for your parents that you want to wear a thong um well the see here's my problem yeah. is that the first reason listed yes. was you can convince your parents that you will get less attention to yes. your butt that's not what mom and dad wanted for me. No, they want they want to they want all it. eyes on all, me. All, all eyes on the butt. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's it's a it's it's a problem. <laughs> okay, if they had their way, if yes. they had their their druthers. Yes, I would have such bunched up underwear <laughs> down there, such bunched up butt holders. What are the what butt, butt holsters? Holder, butt holsters. Yeah. What'd you say? I don't remember. Okay, butt holder holsters. Yes, they'd be so bunched up down there. It'd be like I was wearing some sort of like ring around to my just highlight hips. the butt yeah yeah mm-hmm. see my reasoning is uh, i'm a good catholic child mm-hmm. and uh i just i think like the closest way to jesus is my butt so when you're in church yes you it's communion or something yeah you're just kind of like back in that thing down yes. the aisle yeah in order to where how do you take the communion uh i just just put Keep it in this thread. the. Uh, <laughs> just put it in the the um, G string. The G string. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank okay. you, you for. Were I was like, I can't think of words. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, those are my main reasons. I want to be a better Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go to hell. Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number three. Show them you are responsible. Prove to your parents you are a responsible person who makes responsible choices. Doing this will give your argument more credibility. Kick up the responsibility before your argument happens so it does not look obvious. Now, if I remember the image yes. for this, yeah. it's somebody... Cleaning with an hourglass next to them? Cleaning with an hourglass? But they're cleaning how? Right, okay. So yeah, they're swabbing, they're swabbing the floor. Yes. Mopping the floor. Yes. So clear one to one, A to B. One floor mop equals one thong. Right. Yes. It's such an obvious... It's a great barter system. Here's what's going to happen. Your parents are going to see you mopping. They're mm-hmm. like, you know what? I think they can handle yes. a thong. I think they're ready. They're going to be like, you know, thong to mop ratio has mm-hmm. finally been fulfilled. So we can finally give you that thong. Mm-hmm. 
This um, is it's just advice for any teen. If you if you want to get a training bra, what you should be doing is washing windows because they're just like, oh right, they're windows, ready. They're ready. Win- bra, windows bra. got it. Yeah. Yes, one hundred percent. That's the math. A to B. This ha- that's how it has to be. Mm-hmm. My every thing time I is... look at windows, I think of breasts. Go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you saying? I was dying. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm worried that you plastering your room with pictures of butts beforehand mm-hmm. and spending hundreds of dollars on that makes you look less responsible. I mean, it depends. You might have to spin your parents. You might have to convince them, look, yes, I spent hundreds of dollars mm-hmm. on these posters, but it was of something I'm very passionate about. Yeah. You can see I'm dedicated. I am okay. focused. Yeah. yeah. Right? I get what you're saying. And yes. maybe my schoolwork is in the toilet, but I have my focus just on something else there you go Mm -hmm. okay fair enough good good save there yeah so step four be prepared to pay for your thong now this is a bit of a shock to me Mm. take control of the situation by offering to pay for your thong this shows them that you've put the thought into decision rather than being impulsive this is also an opportunity to show them you have saved your money well at this point rob i haven't saved my money i bought all the posters and i cannot afford a thong on my own what do I do? I'm going to cut out the thongs on the poster and just wear them like their underwear. Oh, that makes a lot of Solved sense. It. Okay. Because I was thinking you might have to get some sort of money bank with just like thong money print, like written on the side of it. <laughs> this is my thong money jar. No, but that is a, that is a good saver tip. Yeah. That's, that's for pretty much anyone. Yeah. If, if you want something. Um, Buy a picture of it and just cut it out. Even Google it. Yeah. Print out that print picture. Print out that picture. Cut it out. You've got indistinguishable the thing. Yeah. from the real thing. You want the new Yeezys? Just print out a photo of them, put them on your feet. You got the new Yeezys. Look exactly like the real McCoy. I don't know what McCoy. the new Yeezys are, but I hear like people talk about it, and I want to sound relevant. I do know what they are, but also they're not necessarily worth knowing about, especially because there are new Yeezys literally, literally. every other day. It yeah. Seems. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Got they it. are they are essentially shoes with digital ugly writing on yes. them that uh, look like if you glued socks okay. to a giant piece of plastic. Oh, man, that's my style. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I love that shit. You've been doing that ever since I've you been, were a kid? I've been doing that since I was a kid. I've there are two things you wanted. You, you wanted there. socks glued to plastic yes. and a thong. Yes. And that was your outfit. Yeah, and I'm halfway to one, quarter of the way to the other. You're working on it. I'm, I'm getting there. And you know what? It's a little later in life. You should have gotten that <laughs> stuff as a teen, maybe. I really should have. But... You're getting there. You're finding the help you need. It's not That's cool what this after podcast a is about. Point. What thongs and Yeezys? Oh, okay. Anything. Uh, getting things. Yeah, at a certain point, you're like you're too old for that. Right. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm still looking at an, a giant Iron Man action figure, but sure. That is true. Mm-hmm. Okay, number five. I feel personally insulted. <laughs> Practice your argument. To be convincing, you need to have the discussion with your parents full of confidence. One of the best ways to achieve confidence is to practice what you're going to say to your parents so you're not bumbling over yourself or forgetting your arguments. Imagine that your parents are there with you when you practice. Hit me with your argument. Practice. All right, mom. Yes. Dad. Yes. I know we've been through a lot together. Yes. Are you are you saying yes as Caitlin or as my mom as and dad? As your mom and dad. Okay. Mom, dad. Um... I think really we should uh, consider that in exchange for your continuing to talk with one voice, which is really creepy. It's a lot. I know. Sorry, son. How, uh, I don't know how <laughs> you're doing it. But I think in exchange for that, in order to live with that, I deserve at least one thong, 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 thong. Good. Right? Yeah, that was a great argument. Solid, I'm right? back to Caitlin now. I know you can't Turn... tell. The voice work is incredible. <laughs> mm-hmm. Turn but everything against you. Holy shit. Like, you really. Now, okay, go. Mom, yeah. Dad, mm-hmm. I know that uh, I grew up singing the thong song, and you thought that it was just a phase, but it's not been a phase. I really need to get that thong because my butt is just not getting enough air that it needs. And at this point, it's a health concern, and I'm a health concern all the time, so this might minimize disease. So, child. Yes. Baby child. Uh, you <laughs> are saying- That's what parents call me. Baby child. Yeah. You have- Song the song. Yes. For ten ten or so years you've said? More. Yeah. Can you can you tell me what the tell me the lyrics right now? Uh, he he had dumps like a chuck, chuck, chuck. That's like what? What what? Baby but 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 all that long. Let me see that. Can you enunciate a little better, please? Nope. I, I, I need I definitely to. can't. That's All right, how well, I learned the song. It does seem like you know this song pretty well. It seems you're pretty dedicated yes. to it. So I'm going to say Yes. Yes. There you go. Beautiful. Do you even need the rest of this article? 
I don't. I would request mm-hmm. that you please throw away all the soiled paper versions of thongs that you have. But I'm so attached. It's really stinking up the entire house. Yeah, okay, house. you know, fair enough. We'll give you okay. one that it's it's almost a, a, a ransom situation now where yeah. we, we will we will let you get a thong if you just clean up just that like, toxic biohazard clean. in your bedroom. That's fair. Yeah. That wasn't the first time I've heard that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Haven't we all? Approach your parents about the conversation. We just did that. Great. It went great in our minds. <laughs> Part two is convincing your parents. So you have to bring your notes with you. Mm-hmm. You may not need them because you practice what you want to say, but you have to have them with you just in case you forget anything and need to reference them. Simple. Number two, mm-hmm. broach the subject calmly. Open the conversation by letting them know this is something you have considered and want to ask their permission for. So here's my issue with yep. what is going on. Mm-hmm. We've already practiced our speech. Yep. And now it's giving us... How to practice our speech it's the, after it's we have wiki, practiced yeah. it. Classic week, yeah. I was going to open the conversation very aggressively oh, and not okay. calmly at all. So I'm very glad that this gave me a tip. Very aggressively as in like... Y- Hello, I require a thong and this is not a discussion. You are getting me one. And they, they just asked you what you wanted for breakfast. Yes. Mm. And I said, I require a thong. And they said, will you stop calling owl underwear butt holsters? And I said, I will if I got a thong. It's a lot of compromise it is. is what you need to do. I just basically make their lives so miserable that they have to give me what I want. I feel like that's the general ML- MO of, of being a child or I a teenager. So. yeah. Is I'll be a little shit until you give me what I want. <laughs> that true. goes back to two years old, I guess. That's really true, mm-hmm. yeah. That goes you back just to never babies. grow out of it. Number three, go through your list of logical reasons. One by one, tell your parents all the logical reasons you want to wear a thong and believe they should support you in this decision. Whether it's to hide panel lines, be more comfortable, avoid pimples, or any other number number of reasons. Question mm. about the avoid pimples? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Mm. So your downstairs isn't just a giant... Pimply mess? Yeah, it's not just like... it's. If it was, I don't... I wouldn't know. Like, I don't check my butt that frequently no i'm saying if you if you look down yeah and it's just a giant red area yeah. of bumps yeah it is uh it's it kind of looks like um uh bubble wrap oh but if it my was, god but if it was red uh that's not that's not true for you no oh, oh no oh, okay well mm. uh-oh this is great this next one, the picture that accompanies it, is just like two people arguing over an emoji. Okay. Appeal to their emotions. Once you've gone through your logical reasons, you can appeal to their emotional side. Studies have shown that emotional arguments can be quite effective. Remind them that you are growing up old enough to make decisions about how to adorn your own body. Mom, Dad, yes. I'm 12. I can make my own decisions <laughs> I now. I want a thong. I want a thong because I don't want people to look at my butt. Yeah. I, I want to look at my butt. In the mirror, in a thong, <laughs> and like it. It's it's a it's a weird self contradictory thing where it the is. thong is inherently letting you see more of your buttocks. Yes, and I like to hide it away, mm-hmm. kind of like a like a secret that no one gets to see, <laughs> <laughs> like a treasure for no one. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the butt. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Making sure. This is the best. This is maybe my favorite one because the just the title of this step is just invite questions. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't want to answer my parents' questions about why I want a thong. Mm-hmm. I just want to get one and mm-hmm. for them to leave it alone. <laughs> they may have questions, so be prepared for that. Even if they do not, invite questions for them. Validate and answer every question they have to the best of your ability. Any question you cannot answer, offer to answer after some research or further thought. So it's, might. A, it's a whole kind of uh, what's the it's name? A, it's what's the name for uh, when police bring you in and they and they oh, ask you all the questions? Yeah, yeah. you know they ask you all yeah. the questions. Oh yeah, like the day, like, the weekly thing that happens to well, everyone. Every thong is basically a crime waiting to happen. Exactly. So. <laughs> every thong is a crime. I'm not even sure what that means. Oh it just kind of came out. God. Yeah. Has any child had to fight for their right to wear a thong? Is it like this is a real question? I party, have. yes. Thongs, not necessarily. Yeah. Fight for the right, right to party to thongy to thongy. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's like it, how I feel like your parents would 
either be yes or no. I feel like my 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 dad would be mortified by mm-hmm. this conversation happening. So he'd automatically be like, nope. Mm-hmm. And my mom would just be like, go get whatever you want. We're not talking about this. Right. Like, we didn't talk about like underwear in my family. So instead, imagine that your mom and dad are like, okay, we've heard you. Yes. We ourselves are going to talk about your butt for about oh, three God. hours. I would actually shrivel up and die. We're going to debate your butt. That could actually be, now, if there are any parents are listening in on this, here's a little bit of a strategy. Tell your child you're going to talk about their butt for about five or six hours. That's a very good idea. And then they'll be like, oh, I want none of this now. (laughs) Exactly. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone forever now. I'm so sorry I ever brought that up. Mm Mm-hmm. That's going to be my parenting strategy, I think, when I grow up. Yeah. Even if it's not butt-related, I'll make it about talking about your butt. Just like, oh, you want to see a movie? Well... (sighs) I don't know if your butt can handle sitting in those seats for so long. Me and your mom are going to talk about your butt for about as long as an actual movie. We're gonna we're just gonna go talk about like how sweaty do we think it'll get in yes. that in that seat, and that'll determine yeah whether or not. And you the kids just like, film. oh my god, I don't want to go anymore. And they're like, I don't want to see Tomb Raider anymore. So this is part three: mm-hmm. reacting to their response. Mm-hmm. Be prepared for any response. Do not assume you know what they will say. Prepare yourself for the response, the possibility that they will say no or drag the discussion out. It is a good idea to come up with possible solutions to those scenarios, even if they do not happen. Great scenarios such as your parents come back and say, "Hell to the no! Mm-hmm. We want your butt all wrapped up and warm, and this will not do that." And we are sorry, but we cannot allow you to go around with a cold butt. All right, mom and dad, I've thought about yeah. this scenario. Yes. Now, what if I had some sort of heat lined? It's kind of like you know those th- the the things that you can put in your gloves or your hands yes, in the yes, winter. Yes, yes, yes. Like you glove just, like, warmers. Yeah, yeah glove yeah. warmers. I will put that in my thong. Good. So and it just warms the crack. Yeah, but it's also but it'll be close enough that it'll warm the entire region. That's good. Yeah. Right. That's a good solution. So that's okay. one scenario yeah. down. Solid. I yeah. I get that. Number All right. two. Make sure that you react calmly. So regardless of your parents' response, it is important to react in a calm and collected manner. They need to see that you are mature enough to make your own decisions. If they say no now, they will be more likely to say yes to the next decision based on your reaction. Fair. So hold on. If you all this time, you've been dead set on wanting a thought. Yes. They said no, now, give up. Give up? Give up. Move on to the next Move problem. On to the next one. On to the next thing. Pick your hills to die on. Yes. The thong hill is not worth it. Yes. Two stars out of five. <laughs> but be sure to ask them why they say why if they say no. Mm-hmm. If they are still not convinced, ask them why. You may be able to address their concerns and their objections. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. And this is my favorite one. Offer a compromise. Mm-hmm. If your parents will not budge, offer them a compromise. Maybe you can suggest revisiting the topic later after you've shown more responsibility. Basically clean until they say yes, is what this step is saying. Is that even a compromise? That's just like, give up now and then come back later. That's... A compromise, I would have thought, is somewhere between a yeah. traditional panty a and, B. And, and a thong. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think it's one of those ones, it's like... Not it doesn't like cover name for everything. It? Yeah, what's the name for it? Oh god, you know, See, as somebody a... who buys underwear that is like women's underwear, yeah. I should know the different types, but yeah. I just like flock to the boy short and okay. I'm like, cool, right? Uh, is it like bikini? I don't think I so. Fe- something I there's don't know. a word for it. We're guys, we are underwear professionals, <laughs> guys. We're not prepared for this article <laughs> at all, not really. We don't know anything about this topic. Or how to engage <laughs> or with people. Anything. This is this is probably why this article got two stars because the last step is drop the subject. <laughs> if all else fails, accept your fate and walk away. Do not continue to beg or harass your parents. Doing that will only diminish any chance of convincing them later, and it will put them in a bad mood. Walking away from the argument with grace allows you to keep your parents' respect. Now, I don't know how I could possibly have my parents' respect after asking if I can have a thong. Several times. You have to make sure that you have their respect. This article just told us what that underwear is called. Oh, what is it? Cheekies. That can't be real. That apparently that real. is real. Because I've never heard that in my entire life. I thought I just forgot a- the word. I think that's definitely what they're called. Because the other one is tangas. 
And that feels even less of a real thing than the thong is. Well, Tanka sounds like this is an Australian writer. Yeah, I'm like, writer. this is Australian again. <laughs> Are these Australians the getting Australian one over articles. on us again? <laughs> these Australians with their crazy wiki ass. God damn it, Australia. It's just Robert Downey Jr. just like writing some articles about thongs. Robert Downey Jr.? Isn't he not Australian? No. I'm really tired Have you today. heard him talk? No. Ever? No. Oh. Are you thinking of Thor? Yes. Thor. Yes. Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. He's the real Australian. I'm really good with names uh-huh. and also the Avengers. Okay. So that was it for the article. Mm-hmm. There are no community Q&As. Mm-hmm. So I think we should ask our, 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 our regular one. Uh, I should have predicted this, shouldn't I? You should have. Rob, mm-hmm. what do I do if I'm convincing my parents to let me wear a thong and then I just shit myself? Oh, so it's the it's what happens if you while convincing while convincing you them. poop yourself, right? Okay, mom, dad, yeah, I'm gonna level you with you. Something yeah. just happened. <laughs> it's not great, no, but I'm gonna turn this around. <laughs> In these traditional butt holsters that yes. I'm wearing right yeah. now, yeah, there's a large pile of crap. <laughs> it just escaped my buttocks. And it's all held up in there. It's quite gross. It's quite disgusting. Oh it's quite smelly. I know where you're going with this. Already. However, here's what I'm going to propose to you. If I were allowed to wear a thong, a thong- thongular a th- underwear, a thongular underwear, easy access to the toilet. That is true. I mean, this time I didn't even attempt to go. I was in the middle of a conversation with you. Yeah. But. Precious seconds could have been saved. That is true. That's actually a very good argument. And I think that's where the community Q and A comes in handy. It definitely where does. You, you need you need to know how how to how to just cut some corners sometimes. And honestly, I think we just made it easier to argue for a thong. I think that should be that should be step one. The core of the pants. article. Number one, shit your pants. Number, Number two, two, show it. <laughs> Say, this is why I need this the This is what happens <laughs> when you don't get When I don't get to go on the hog. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So that's it for this article. Okay. We have some reviews. Yeah, you... we finally got our review service thing back. Yeah. And so we're just going to dump our backlog of reviews right now. Cool. Dump like a like some crap into a into, into a, a butt thong. holster. A butt holster. No, because the thong wouldn't be right. able to right, hold right, it. Right, 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 right. Butt holster. You're yes. right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Sorry. Please. God. Five stars on Yelp. That's uh, from Percussionista One Three Two. This podcast is fantastic, and it makes my Tuesdays ten times better. I have two suggestions for new episodes that I came across: how to vomit politely. And mm. three ways to dance emo. Both mm. are out there, and I thought I would suggest them to you guys on the off chance you may pick one of them. Well, thank you for the suggestions and for the very nice I'm going to look up how to vomit politely. I definitely that am looking right that up. up that looks hilarious. That's pretty good. The second one is from Sparks Moran. It's really funny. I listen to podcasts at works, and I try not to laugh or react externally because my coworkers will ask me what I'm laughing at, and if I wanted to talk to them, I wouldn't be listening to podcasts. Well, but I keep cracking up while listening to this podcast. Brenda asked me what was ha- what I was listening to at least twice today. Here's what I'm going to suggest. What if Brenda's the one who also is trying to reach out? What if Brenda... What if, what if Brenda just wants to... What if Brenda wants to know what podcast you're listening what to if, and if, wants to bond on something? What if Brenda's never laughed in her life, so the noise that is coming out of you, she does not understand? Right. It's like, what is that noise coming out of your mouth? How do you, ha- how do you make it happen? It you, seems like some sort of emotional release that I wish I could have. She needs this podcast. The first podcast Brenda ever listens to. Even if it's like <laughs> fucking cereal, it's it'll be cereal? like all of a sudden she'll be like, <laughs> like it's like yeah, a it life of like laughter bursting out. Everyone. That must have been a terrible sound that people for outside this door is wondering what the hell happened. <laughs> okay, next one is by Velvetant fifty four. An absolute delight. Y'all are the funniest po- podcast out there in the cosmos. Well, thank you. That is very nice. Thank you. This one's from Jen15580. Never laugh so hard. This is the best pod ever. So funny. You two are the ultimate best. P.S. Will you be my bestie? Well, first off, thanks for the very nice thank comment. You. Secondly, I do have an opening right now for a bestie. So, okay. Uh, Jen15580. I do not. Unfortunately, it's just a timing thing. It's just a timing thing? Just yeah. a timing thing. You just like you're, you just went from in between best friends. And I was like, looking for a long time yeah. is the irony. And oh, man, just like a week ago. That, That's that, rough. Unfortunately, I took down the posting and it's just you 
it, it, you should blame the podcast review really, thing yeah. because if you had come in about a Just, month earlier – You'd be right there. Yeah, but, but I'm sure you're a great candidate, and we're going to keep your your yes. review on file. And, and I will ha- gladly be your best friend right away. If you want to upgrade at a later point <laughs> to me, just let me know, and I will keep you in consideration. Fair point. Mm-hmm. Next one is from Cyan Rose. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I love this. Caitlin and Rob are hilarious, and their wiki house shenanigans are definitely worth a listen. Love you guys. Keep up the fabulous work. XOXO. This comment came from Australia. So what I'm saying is this Chris Hemworth, Hemsworth, Hem- just like Hemworth, Hemworth, Hemworth? disguised Hemworth. as Cyan Rose, seems it, like something he'd do. It, it's a little known fact that before he broke Vegas in Adventure, and sometimes even after, yeah. Chris Hemsworth was devoted to leaving a lot of that iTunes very views true. under that He was username. known most for that. Yeah. So thank you, Chris Hemsworth. And then we have the final one. Okay. From Apio Espacial from Mexico, who says, This podcast has made me question both my sanity and my sense of humor several times, but still, it's probably my fave. Who doesn't love a cat-loving human and an artificial intelligence learning how to human properly? Are, are you accusing us of being the AI? I think you're the AI and I'm the cat-loving human. What What are you saying? I, that doesn't compute. Um, I... <laughs> Now, here's the thing. What was the line about having a sense of humor, oh, doubting your yeah, sense of humor? Yeah, uh, question both my sanity question and my sense, sense of, humor. of humor. Well, then I feel like they're kind of questioning our sense of humor. I feel like we may have a really fucked up sense of humor is what this person's saying. And they're not wrong. I don't know. I feel like a little... I'm, I'm on edge. I'm not offended. I'm a no. little on edge okay. about that. Yeah. And so I would like a written apology in the form of getting what? your friends to also write five-star reviews. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Excellent. Makes sense, yeah, right? And then the, we'll read their five-star reviews on the show. And then you'll be free and you can finally move on. Exactly. And that's it for the reviews and that's it for this episode. If you liked it, you can also leave a five-star review like the ones we just read and suggest an article there. We might pick the article for one of our topics and we will definitely read your review on air. You can also do that on Twitter. You can send us articles on Twitter and we will consider them. And we are also, at How to Not Show. We are at How to Not Show. Yeah. I should have mentioned that, but also it's a little bit more of a fun treasure hunt if we don't say oh. where you can find you us You can anywhere. find us on Twitter. Speaking of which... Don't look on Spotify. We're not on Spotify. We're anymore. definitely not, not on, on Spotify. Spotify. You can't listen to podcasts on Spotify. That's a lie. That's a lie. And don't look at us as we get on our big, big pirate ships <laughs> and go find <laughs> not treasure. Exactly. In the form of audio content audio on Spotify.com. Um, there you go. Yeah, you can subscribe to us on Spotify now, which is awesome. Um, And that's it for this week. We're going to come back. <laughs> And we're going to try not to be tired. We're going to come back fresh as hell. Yeah. And we're going to be able to think about things. And and speak about them. And connect things in order to make jokes. (laughs) And it's not going to be like this. It's not going to be like this. It's not going to be like this. Unless you really, really like this. If you really like this, tell us. Then you can let us know. And then we will only record. We'll record even earlier. We'll record at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. And then that'll just be... Primo content. Oh boy, oh, let's just stop be the this. the best. Okay, have the best day, and I will beatbox this out because we still don't have music. Ready? Okay. But holsters. <laughs>